morning to all of you and welcome to Baidu's exam prep, the most comprehensive uh, preparation app for all exams. So as you can see the thumbnail and it says uh, that uh, this is today's the Hindu analysis. Uh, I hope you are aware of that we do at 11 a.m. in the morning from Sunday to Thursday. So if I'm audible and visible just write in the comments yes sir you're audible so that we can start our session. Okay yes. So I'll be speaking in both the language in English as well as in Hindi. Dono bhasha mein mein explain kar dunga. Theek hai? So let's start. Today is Tuesday and today is 28th December. Aaj 20th December Tuesday hai. And we are here with the Hindu analysis. Now, uh, this is the most important article of today. COP15 summit adopts historical biodiversity deal. So we will be discussing about it. Uh, how it is different from COP27, many people would be thinking, sir, recently COP27 happened in Sharman, Sheikh, Egypt, and now you are saying COP15 and how it is different. So we will be discussing about that, how it is different from COP27. Then here it is 57 Twitter, 57.5% Twitter users vote to oust Musk as Elon Musk as firm's CEO or Twitter's CEO. This is another news. Then here is the news, Karnatak turns away Maharashtra leaders at Belgavi Bridge. So we'll be discussing about these three important articles. These three articles, which are first page, we will go to the first So I will tell you both in I will be explaining, explaining in both the language. So do not bother. Okay, so uh, let's start uh, with this article, COP15 Summit adopts historic biodiversity deal. And it says Kunmin Montreal Agreement is aimed at saving lands, ocean species, species from pollution, degradation, and climate change as being compared to landmark Paris Agreement. Now, first of all, I hope you all are aware that in November, from 6th November to 28th November, a COP, I would say COP27 actually recently happened right? in Sharm el Sheikh, uh, which is a city in Egypt. Sharm el Sheikh is a city in Egypt, here COP27 was okay now but this COP27 was done under which UNFCCC United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change yes I hope you are aware of that we have discussed many times so this Sharm el Sheikh in November mein, recently the conference of parties COP matlab? conference of parties and conference of parties so the conference of parties that happened, the 27th one, that happened in Egypt in Sharm el Sheikh was done under the aegis of UNFCCC, United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. Okay? <coughs> okay, so UNFCCC can under me a COP27. Now, which is COP15? Hai? Why are we going back? So, no, this COP15 is under CBD, Convention on Biodiversity. So this is a different, hai na? Convention on Biodiversity. So this... COP15 is of, okay, under, it was done under the aegis of CBD, Convention on Biodiversity. A COP comes away, Conference of Parties, okay, yes. Now, I hope you are aware of biodiversity. The, the word itself will explain a lot of things, biodiversity. Now, just break the word, it's called bio, matab, life, hai na? biology, hai na? you must be aware of it. Diversity means variety. So, what it is talking about is, what do you mean by biodiversity? So it means, it means variety of, uh, variety of species of flora and fauna, uh, flora and fauna. It means variety of species of plants and animals. So biodiversity ka matlab kya hua? Ki different varieties, plants or animals ki. The more the biodiversity is, the more stable the ecosystem would be. Always remember. Okay, yaad rakhega. So, ecosystem strength or the stability of ecosystem is directly proportional to the biodiversity. Okay, jitne zade biodiversity rehegi, jitne different type ke plants or animals rehenge. Okay, utna zada stable ecosystem rehega, utna zada environment strong, sustainable rehega. Okay, so just have an idea about it. Okay, Bikram, yes, you can watch. Of course, you can ask questions also. Yes. So, that is what it is. Now, so basically this COP15 is supposed to protect the biodiversity. So main is ka maqsad biodiversity protection hai. Now it says, uh, yes, after four years of fractions, fractious talks, nearly 200 countries including India, they go India base mein hai. 
approved a historic Paris style deal on Monday to protect and reverse dangerous loss to global biodiversity following intense final session of negotiation of UN COP15 in Canada. So, where did this happen? One summit before, this is the first part happened in Kunming. Kunming is in China. Okay. And the second one actually, this was Kunming in China. And the second part of it actually agreement happened in Montreal, which is in Canada. Okay. And this was recently in news. This was the news yesterday, yesterday. So where is Canada? Let me show you here uh, on the map. So here is India. Okay. And here is USA. This is Canada. And on the border of USA and Canada somewhere here you will find this. Let me show you. Yes. Here it is. Okay. Now you can see Canada and USA. So here is the border. It is just the border of Canada. Uh, there is a city called as Montreal. Uh, here is a very famous summit in 1987. Montreal Protocol. Which is related with protection of ozone layer. So uh, you should be knowing about that also. उसके बारे में आपको पता होना चाहिए कि 1987 में एक मॉन्ट्रियल प्रोटोकॉल हुआ था जिसमें ओजोन लेयर को प्रोटेक्ट करने की बात कही गई थी और अभी रिसेंटली कॉप 15 का सेकंड पार्ट यही हुआ ठीक है कॉप 15 ऑन सीबीडी कन्वेंशन ऑन बायोडायवर्सिटी ओके इज इट क्लियर यस एमएससीटी वुड बी इजीर ऑफ कोर्स बिगरन हां सो दिस इज द आर्टिकल टुडे हिस्टोरिक बायोडायवर्सिटी डील गेट्स द नॉट एट कॉप 15 समिट इन कनाडा एट यूएन बायोडायवर्सिटी कॉन्फ्रेंस इन मॉन्ट्रियल नेगोशिएटर्स रीच एन एग्रीमेंट to protect 30% of the land and water considered important for biodiversity by 2030, known by 30, 30 by 30. This can be asked. What do we mean by the term 30 by 30 in the news? 30 by 30. It means 30% of the land we have to protect, which are very biodiverse, at least this, by the end of 2030. 30% land or zameen जो कि बायोडायवर्सिटी के लिए बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है उसको प्रोटेक्ट करना है ठीक है सो दैट इज व्हाट द आईडिया इज सो दिस इज कॉल्ड एज 30 बाय 30 सो दे कैन आस्क कि इन व्हिच कॉन्टेक्स्ट 30 बाय 30 यू विल फाइंड सो यू कैन से इट इज इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ बायोडायवर्सिटी कॉप 15 सो जस्ट हैव एन आईडिया अबाउट इट ठीक है सो कॉप 15 रिसेंटली हैपेंड इन मॉन्ट्रियल इन कनाडा ठीक है ये फोटो भी आप देख सकते हो Okay, yes, uh, the global convention uh, framework on the day of UN Biodiversity Conference COP15 is set to end in Montreal, which holds the presidency and China is holding the presidency. I have told you, it's a Kunming Montreal agreement. Yes, so the first half actually itself happened in China, but the second half is not happening in China. It's happening in Canada. So that's called Kunming Montreal agreement. And who is the president of this COP conference of parties? So China is the head president. So, ye bhi sawal aapko exam mein de sakte hain. They can ask this question. That who is the president of uh, COP15 which was held under CBD, Convention on Biodiversity. Convention on Biodiversity. Okay, just have an idea about it. Okay, yes, uh, you can see on a convention on biodiversity, if you are reading on Wikipedia, they will be explaining in detail about it and other government declaration and the second part of it actually recently happened and uh, you can see <coughs> Montreal, Canada from 5th to 17th December 2022. So just have an idea about it. Okay, yes, uh, you can see from the UNEP's website also they are talking about the same and a UN biodiversity conference. So, if you read it carefully, this is similar to a Paris Agreement. So, Paris Agreement, I hope you are aware of that. Which is Paris Agreement? So, Paris Agreement is related with uh, COP21 under UNFCCC, UNFCCC, which actually happened in 2015. So, Paris Climate Agreement is COP21 UNFCCC, wala. CBT. Wala nahi, so, just have an idea, COP21 which happened under the aegis of UNFCCC in 2015. So that is about Paris Agreement. So people are, people are comparing this Kunmin Montreal Agreement with this Paris Agreement. This is the important thing 30 by 30. I have explained what is 30 by 30. Yes. So you must be aware of it. They can ask this. Uh, then further they have talked into 30 by 30. Indigenous rights were addressed through the text including areas covered by 30 30. Indigenous people, right? So let's say the local people or the local tribal people living in any forest or any area, their rights should also be recognized. And they are not, they should not be subjected to mass eviction. Now, what do I mean by this? Let's say, for example, I'm just explaining it. Let's say in this area, 
this is a forest land and here the tribal areas are living tribes uh, tribal people are living so many times uh, uh, let's say construction happen or any other uh, development activity happen and the forest is cut and the tribes are told to leave this area so that is called as eviction but the, for example kuch tribal log kisi ek forest ki mein reh rahe hain ab wahan kuch development activity ho raha building ban raha bridge ban raha dam ban raha kuch hi ban raha to ped kaat diya gaya aur wahan ke tribe logo ko hata diya gaya wahan se so that is that should not happen you know indigenous rights in you know, a people of indigenously living there in that forest area or tribal people or the local people should not be evicted in wahan se hataya nahi jana chahiye okay that is what it says everyone guys please press the like button sabko like button press kar do we are seeing six like 12 is watching so sabko like button press kar do the text approves the objective of rich countries to provide at least 20 billion dollar per year by 2025 and at least 30 billion dollar by 2030 अब इस टेक्स्ट में यह भी लिखा हुआ है कि 2025 के एंड तक कम से कम 20 बिलियन डॉलर जमा किया जाए और 2030 के एंड तक 30 बिलियन डॉलर है ना फॉर एक्चुअली प्रोटेक्टिंग बायोडाइवर्सिटी है ना सो so, इसको हम लोग मतलब बायोडाइवर्सिटी को प्रोटेक्ट करने के लिए ये सब फंड की जरूरत पड़ेगी 20 बिलियन डॉलर दो तक और तीस बिलियन डॉलर दो तक तो जस्ट हैव एन आइडिया अबाउट इट ओके यस Now, uh, एक और फर्स्ट पेज पे आर्टिकल थी ऑन द फर्स्ट पेज देर वॉज एन आर्टिकल फिफ्टी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट वोटर यूजर वोट टू आउस मस्क एज फॉर्म सीईओ सो आई होप यू आर अवेयर लास्ट ईयर आई मीन दिस ईयर एक्चुअली इलॉन मस्क बॉट ट्विटर एट फोर्टी फोर बिलियन डॉलर एंड बिफोर हिम द सीईओ वॉज मिस्टर पारग अग्रवाल एंड आई आई टी बॉम्बे पास आउट इंडियन ओरिजिन पर्सन है ना पारग अग्रवाल इंडिया के इंडिया uh, से हैं और ये सीईओ थे ट्विटर के लेकिन जैसे इलॉन मस्क ने खरीद लिया तो उनको हटा दिया एंड नाउ इलॉन मस्क बिकेम द सीईओ ऑफ ट्विटर तो अब इलॉन मस्क जो है ये खुद सीईओ बन गए ट्विटर के अब देखो प्रॉब्लम क्या है प्रॉब्लम ये है कि एक्चुअली द वोटिंग ट्विटर यूजर्स यूजर्स मतलब उन्होंने वोटिंग किया कि इनको uh, मस्क को सीईओ से हटा देना चाहिए बट उसे कुछ आई डोंट थिंक मच विल हैपन लेट्स सी है ना नाउ ऑन द फर्स्ट पेज देयर वाज वन मोर आर्टिकल कर्नाटक टर्न्स अवे महाराष्ट्र लीडर एट बेलगावी ब्रिज सो देयर इज अ डिस्प्यूटेड एक्चुअली डिस्ट्रिक्ट बेलगावी और समटाइम्स कॉल्ड एज बेलगाम ओके सो दिस इज अ डिस्प्यूटेड डिस्ट्रिक्ट बिटवीन महाराष्ट्र एंड कर्नाटक ठीक है महाराष्ट्र एंड कर्नाटका पता होना चाहिए जस्ट हैव एन आइडिया अबाउट इट लेट मी शो यू फॉर एग्जाम्पल हेर इट इज महाराष्ट्र ये वाला महाराष्ट्र है ना और ये वाला कर्नाटका ठीक है सो दिस वन इज महाराष्ट्र ये वाला एंड दिस वन इज कर्नाटका ओके एंड हेयर यू विल फाइंड अ डिस्ट्रिक्ट बेलगावी और बेलगाम ओके ना This district is actually currently in Karnataka, but uh, actually it is claimed by Maharashtra because uh, we have seen linguistic reorganization of states. So uh, states have been made on the basis of language. Okay, so the Maharashtra claims that it should be the part of uh, Belgaum. Uh, should be the Belgaum should be the part of Maharashtra and not Karnataka. Okay. Although uh, you can say the different census says that no, uh, in fact, in Belgaum also Kannada speaker is high. So uh, from that logic, it should be a part of Karnataka. So there is actually a debate which happens, or it's a dispute you can say uh, that whether Belgaum should be a part of Maharashtra or Karnataka. But currently, it is actually a part of Karnataka. Okay. So there are different claims from both the sides. Okay. So just have an idea about it. जे एम आई एल एल बी का बैच स्टार्ट कीजिए ओके राशिद अली विल बी इन्फॉर्मिंग दिस हाँ ठीक है सो दैट इज अबाउट इट है कर्नाटक टर्न सब महाराष्ट्र लेजर एंड सो दे वर एक्चुअली कमिंग टू प्रोटेस्ट ठीक है सो दे वर द पीपल फ्रॉम महाराष्ट्र वुड बी कमिंग हेयर एंड दे वेर रिटर्न बैक एंड समथिंग लाइक दिस ठीक है सो इट वॉज इन द न्यूज फ्रॉम इंटरिंग बेलगावी डिस्ट्रिक्ट इट की करंट समिति रैली वॉज देर आप ठीक है दिस हैव एन आइडिया Now on the first page there was an article a uh, huge tragedy has nothing to do with prohibition says bihar cm what is huge tragedy can anyone tell me in the live chat what do you mean by huge tragedy iska kya matlab hai 
जिसको हम लोग हिंदी में कहते हैं जहरीली शराब पीने से अगर किसी की मौत हो जाए या दैट्स कॉल्ड एज हुच ट्रेजेडी सो डेथ ड्यू टू स्पोरियस लेकर है ना स्पोरियस और आई कैन से लेकर विच आर एक्चुअली हार्मफुल इट वॉज शराब जहरीली शराब पीने से लोगों की मौत हो गई थी रिसेंटली इन सारण डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ बिहार एंड बिहार चीफ मिनिस्टर हेज कैटेगरिकली सेड नॉट टू ड्रिंक इट इज प्रोहिबिटेड इन द स्टेट ऑफ बिहार एंड द चीफ मिनिस्टर हैज सेड हाँ टॉक्सिक अल्कोहल राइट विक्रन विक्रन राइट हाँ सो द चीफ मिनिस्टर हैज क्रिस्टल क्लियरली सेड दैट विल नॉट बी प्रोवाइडिंग एनी एक्स ग्रेशिया कंपनसेशन बिकॉज इट इज बैंड इन बिहार सो वाई डिड यू ड्रिंक दिस लेकर वाई आर यू वेन थिंकिंग ऑफ सो ओवर ट्वेंटी किल्ड इन बिहार वाई कैन हुच बी सो डेडली सो दिस इज फ्रॉम सेवनटींथ दिसंबर सारण डिस्ट्रिक्ट है ना Now, uh, I hope you are aware. Uh, those who are from my paid batch student, they must be aware of it. I have taught DPSP, that is Directive Principle of State Policy, and in that I have taught this that Bihar government has banned liquor and thereby implemented which of the following DPSP? Article forty-seven, Article forty-eight, Article fifty-one, Article fifty. Bihar Sarkar ne sharab ko ban kiya hai. तो इसमें कौन सी डीपीएसपी को इंप्लीमेंट किया फोर्टी सेवन फोर्टी एट फिफ्टी वन फिफ्टी यस एनी वन आई एम वेटिंग फॉर द आंसर्स एवरीवन प्लीज प्रेस द लाइक बटन गाइस सबको लाइक बटन प्रेस कर दो वी आर सीइंग एट लाइक्स सेवनटीन इज वाचिंग सो आई हैव टॉट दिस इन पेड क्लासेस द फंडामेंटल राइट डीपीएसपी दीज थिंग्स आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड and i told you that uh, in that class ki bihar government i think gujarat government and some other state governments have banned liquor under article 47 so a is the right answer if you see it carefully i still remember yes bikran mehti right and uh, the state shall endeavor to bring about prohibition of consumption except for medical purpose of intoxicating drinks and drugs which are injurious to health right so it clearly this actually has been implemented by bihar government also gujarat government and i think some states in northeastern states also theek hai some of them ha na yes article 47 yes bikran mehti right ha so you must be aware of that uh, because since liquor ban was in the news now let's move on to editorial page if you see it carefully uh, this is on the top editorial written on the top page number 6 so these are the four articles a letter to editor you are not supposed to read and these two are actually authorless articles uh, authorless articles theek okay. hai means actually it represents the opinion of the hindu editors so let's begin with these two a role for india in a world wide web and a planet in crisis so this is written by mr shashi tharoor very famous for his uh, tough english language uh, tough dictionaries and all so he is basically talking about quoting uh, foreign minister s jay shankar statement that india can play a stabilizing and bridging role at a time when the world no longer offers an optimistic picture i hope you are aware that the world is getting more and more polarized especially recently during russia ukraine war aapko pata hai do is samay bad gayi hai kuch log russia ke supporter hai kuch log ukraine ke something like this so india will play a better role in stabilizing in keeping or ensuring peace that is what actually was said by s jay shankar and that is what he is quoting so what that is what he is talking about i think those are uh, those are really expectation that a lot of other countries especially countries of the global south have of us yani bahut sare logo se jo developing countries se global south yani yahan pe developing countries ki baat ho rahi un logo ko hum logo se kafi zyada ummeed hai especially we will be having g20 the presidency is now with india and the next year g20 summit is going to happen in india yes and back as ceo summit at sector and all will be happening in india so that is why yes uh the world expects more from us and shashi tharoor uh, is quoting his own book pax indica ye unki kitab hai pax indica and the world of the 21st century written by mr shashi tharoor to isi kitab ko wo quote kar rahe hain uh, that he is quoting his own book and he says ki ha i have written in my book uh, that uh, the critical role i believe india has to play in what has come to become a cooperative network system in our multipolar world yani itna multipolar world mein in this multipolar world actually uh, what i can say is uh, india will be playing a cooperative uh, role in it hai na 
सो दैट इज वॉट यू शुड बी नोइंग इट की इंडिया का बहुत बड़ा रोल होगा ही कि इंडिया वुड बी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन इंश्योरिंग पीस एंड स्टेबिलिटी एट द वर्ल्ड लेवल तो इसी के उन्होंने बात किया है गिवन अ लॉट ऑफ एग्जांपल्स एंड ऑल एंड द आइडिया ऑफ वर्ल्ड लीडरशिप देन ही इज कोटिंग दैट यस इफ यू टॉक अबाउट इकोनॉमिक एस्पेक्ट आल्सो इंडिया इज वर्ल्ड्स थर्ड लार्जेस्ट इकॉनमी इन पीपीपी टर्म्स परचेसिंग पावर पैरिटी टर्म्स ओके व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय दिस यू कैन सी इट हियर इन परचेसिंग पावर पैरिटी टर्म्स द टॉप इकॉनमी इज चाइना देन यूएस एंड देन इंडिया ठीक है We are talking about PPP terms, man. Okay, so top is rank one is China, then US, and then third is India. So that is why you should be knowing it. Okay, the, this kind of worldwide web style networking reflects other paradoxes of our world. India belongs both to the non-aligned movement, re, which reflects the experience of colonialism and the community of democracy, etc. And all. So yes, I hope you are aware non-aligned movement. Uh, India was instrumental in uh, making this, ha na, in the formation of NAM. तो नाम के फॉर्मेशन में इंडिया का बहुत बड़ा रोल था आप जानते हो हिस्ट्री में देन ऑफ कोर्स इंडिया इज राइट नाउ द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ जी ट्वेंटी प्लेज एन इन्फ्लुएंशियल रोल इन यूनाइटेड नेशन इन सार्क एज वेल एंड ऑल है ना तो इंडिया का काफी बड़ा रोल है दैट इज वॉट ही इज हाईलाइटिंग इट तो पूरा इतना डिटेल नहीं जाना है बट यू शुड हैव एन आइडिया दैट ही इज एक्चुअली फोकसिंग ऑन दिस थीम यस इंडिया हैज टू प्ले बेटर रोल इंडिया विल बी प्लेइंग अ बेटर रोल इन स्टेबलाइजिंग द वर्ल्ड है ना or in ensuring peace at the world level na is shashi tharoor the opposition leader actually shashi tharoor is uh, you can say na he is not a leader of opposition in lok sabha but yes he is uh, the mp of congress congress member of parliament so he is one of the opposition leader you can say yes but he is not a leader of opposition leader of opposition is a special designation in uh, lok sabha na lok sabha and rajya sabha but he is not leader of opposition uh, but yes you can say he is one of the leaders in opposition political party congress yes and he is a member of parliament i think from thiruvananthapuram in kerala na in kerala somewhere he is the mp from there na so just have an idea now a planet in crisis again this editorial jo side editorial ye wala this one ha na this one is talking about the same cop 15 ha na cop 15 uh, just we have talked about in the initial portion of the class ha na abhi maine discuss kiya ha na so uh, the top it is talking about that recently cop 27 happened in egypt and all hai na uh, under unfccc then the author is saying ki yes similarly cop 15 happened under convention on biodiversity recently the second part happened in montreal in canada and all hai na while both these conference can trace their origin from rio summit hai na so rio summit actually resulted into the formation of unfccc cbd etc hai na जो रियो समिट हुआ था और व्हाट वी कॉल इट एज अर्थ समिट 1992 लेड टू द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ दिस टू है ना सीबीडी कन्वेंशन ऑन बायोडाइवर्सिटी यूएनएफ ट्रिपल सी एंड ऑल ठीक है सो देयर आर नो वर्ल्ड लीडर्स एंड हेड्स ऑफ द स्टेट मेकिंग दिस कमिटमेंट्स एंड ऑल तो इसी पे पूरा है ठीक है सो जस्ट गो एंड रीड अबाउट इट दैट यस वी आर हैविंग बेस्ड ऑन करंट ट्रेंड्स यूएन रिकर्स एंड एस्टीमेटेड 34000 प्लांट्स एंड 50 टू 200 एनिमल स्पीशीज इतने सारे स्पीशीज हैं इसको प्रोटेक्ट करना है बल्कि बायोडाइवर्सिटी इंक्रीज करना है डिक्रीज नहीं होना चाहिए ना सो दैट इज व्हाट द आइडिया इज 30% ऑफ द ब्रीड्स ऑफ मेन फार्म एनिमल्स आर करेंटली एट हाई रिस्क सो 30% ऑफ देम आर एट हाई रिस्क ठीक है सो ये सब बचाना है हम लोग को देन द ऑथर इज कोटिंग एलिजाबेथ मारुमा अम्ब्रेमा एग्जीक्यूटिव सेक्रेटरी टू सीबीडी इट हैज डिस्क्राइब्ड द नेगोशिएशन एज वन ऑफ दैट शुड रिजल्ट इन पेरिस मोमेंट फॉर नेचर है ना मतलब जैसे पेरिस क्लाइमेट एग्रीमेंट जैसा हुआ था वासा होना चाहिए वेरी सिमिलर टू दैट है ना then they are talking about yes 30 billion dollar per annum by 2030 hai yeah, na so at least 30 billion dollar needs to be allocated by 2030 in this hai yeah, na so just have an idea about it now isme ye ctc wali article important nahi ye wali just have an idea about it destiny is man uh this is related with the fifa world cup fifa final world cup hai yeah, na okay now it says sporting grades can at times impose their will on the game on a daily basis sunday night at doha's luzel stadium hai na so that is what it is talking about the lionel messi was instrumental in winning uh, in helping to win uh, argentina so like hai na you can see it here so yesterday also in the class we had discussed about it that these were the two players uh, from france it was kylian mbappe and from argentina it was lionel messi hai na who were instrumental in the final matches hai na so uh, actually both actually played very well no doubt about it and that is why 3-3 ho gaya tha then in penalty shootout 4 is to 
फोर इज टू टू सो दे गॉट फोर दे गॉट टू एंड बिकॉज ऑफ एच अर्जेंटीना वन ठीक है सो इट इज सेइंग दर इज सेइंग कि अर्जेंटीना वन इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एंड बैक देन इन नाइनटीन एटी सिक्स सो बिफोर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू दे मे आस्क दिस की बिफोर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू द लास्ट वर्ल्ड कप दैट वॉज वन बाई अर्जेंटीना फुटबॉल वर्ल्ड कप वॉज नाइनटीन एटी सिक्स इन मैक्सिको एंड Diego Maradona was instrumental in it. You must be aware of Maradona, very famous football player. So Diego Maradona का काफी बड़ा role था World Cup जीताने में 1986 में इससे पहले जो Argentina ने जीता है. Okay, uh, this homework. Can you even tell me what is the capital city of Argentina? Homework है find out capital of Argentina and currency of Argentina. ये दोनों find out कीजिए. ठीक है? Okay, go and find out. ओके नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू ओपिनियन पेज आर्टिकल पेज नंबर सेवन में ये वाली आर्टिकल थी क्रिमिनलाइजिंग कंसेंसुअल रिलेशनशिप कंसेंसुअल मतलब हाँ अपने कंसेंट से यानी परमिशन uh, से है ना नाउ दिस इज एक्चुअली इन कंटेक्स्ट ऑफ पॉक्सो प्रिवेंशन ऑफ चिल्ड्रन फ्रॉम सेक्सुअल ऑफेंस एक्ट तो ये वाली जो यू कैन गो एंड रीड ऑन अवर बाईजूज वेबसाइट इट इज रिटर्न प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ चिल्ड्रन फ्रॉम सेक्सुअल ऑफेंस एक्ट पॉक्सो एक्ट क्या है इसके बारे में आप पढ़ सकते हो ठीक है Or in the paid patches, we will be explaining in detail. Now, see, so uh, that is what uh, the author is actually talking about. See, what happened? What happened? Recently, Chief Justice of India raised this issue. See, it was ten days before. CGI Justice D.Y. Chandrachud urges Parliament to consider concerns about age of consent under Pakso Act. See, in Times of India, also there is an article that Pakso Act criminalizes all sexual acts under 18 age regardless of whether the consent is personally factually among the minors because the presumption is that there is no consent under 18. So if the boys and girls are less than 18 years of age, let's say a boy is, uh, I'm just giving example 19 years and the girl is let's say 17 years of age. So the girl is less than 18 and both are let's say in consensual relationship, both are in romantic relationship. So even if that is the case, both are in consensual relationship, but according to the Pakso Act, if the girl is less than 18, her consent is not valid. So in that case, boy will be jailed. So that is what happened recently. This also happened Karnatak High Court intent of Pakso not to punish teens in love. Okay. So he eloped with the 16 year old girl. And actually the uh, the criminal case is happening against the boy but they were in a consensual relationship so basically that is what is being talked about so chief justice of india has urged that parliament should reduce the age maybe perhaps they are talking about reducing from 18 to 16 ha huh. and but there is a counter argument that yes if you are reducing the consent age it means you are promoting live in relationship and marriage age is still minimum for boys is 21 and 18 for girls it means when you talk about marriage, you have to be at least 21 for boys and for girls 18. But as far as living relationship is concerned, you are talking about 18 or maybe less than 18. So those actually, this is against, I mean, say many people who are religious, they criticize it because they say that living relationship is against the idea of religion and all. So there is criticism in both aspects. Uh, go and read about it. Yes, Argentina's capital is Buenos Aires. Very good, Kirti Pal. Huh? Buenos Aires, huh? And the currency is Argentina peso, right? Yes, correct. So, you should know this because these types of questions they do ask. Okay. Now, page number 10, 80% decline in insurgency related violence in Northeast. I hope you are aware Northeast is the region. This is India. This is Northeast region. So, like this is Arunachal, Assam, Meghale, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram, Tripura. So, this region is called as Northeast of India. Okay, so uh, that is what Information Broadcasting Minister Arunak Thakur on uh, Monday said that uh, considered efforts by Union government had weakened the ecosystem of terror and had uh, led to pronounced reduction in violence in Kashmir and all and it also resulted in 80% decline in surgency in uh, Northeast. So, he said that Jammu Kashmir and uh, maybe uh, terrorism reduced and in Northeast mein 80% decline hua hai in surgencies. Okay, 80% decline in insurgencies. Yes, just have an idea about it. Okay, uh, then yes, this is also important. You push the exam mein ke recently Lok Sabha has extended the scheduled tribe status to Beta Kuruba. Okay, so what is that? Let me explain. Uh, it is actually Beta Kuruba is the people. Uh, this is a language also. 
एंड बेटा कोरोबा इज एक्चुअली फ्रॉम द रविदियन रेस है ना सो दे रिमेन अराउंड लिव अराउंड नीलगिरी माउंटेन्स एंड ऑल तो यहाँ पर है जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल समवेयर हेयर कर्नाटक तमिलनाडु के बॉर्डर में ही पे कहीं पे आपको मिलेगा ना नीलगिरी रेंज नीलगिरी हिल्स सो जस्ट हैव एन आइडिया वॉट इट ठीक है यस ओके एवरी वन प्लीज प्रेस द लाइक बटन गाइज वी आर सींग ओनली नाइन लाइक एटीन इज वॉचिंग सो सबको एवरी वन प्लीज प्रेस द लाइक बटन सबको फटाफट लाइक बटन प्रेस कर दो यस अपोजिशन वॉक्स आउट ऑफ हाउस ओवर चाइना इशू Now I hope you are aware. Recently, uh, the clashes happened between Indian and Chinese soldiers in Tawang in Arunachal Pradesh. उस area को Yangtze area कहते हैं. Yangtze area of Tawang तक था. So Star Market. This can be asked. Okay. Uh, it was in the news two or three days back. तीन चार दिन पहले ये काफी news में था. Uh, so let me show you where exactly it is. So this is India. This is Arunachal Pradesh. है ना? ये वाला Arunachal Pradesh है. ये वाला this one. And somewhere here you will find this. Tawang, है ना? Tawang district. So here you will find in Tawang you will find Yangtze sector or Yangtze area where the clashes have happened. So uh, Jawan stood their ground at Yangtze, says S J Shankar, the Foreign Minister of India. So you must be aware of it. ठीक है? Thirteen thousand feet है, height बहुत ज़्यादा है, मतलब वहाँ पर from the ground है ना? So just have an idea about it. Uh, then uh, the, on world page, this is an article: Russian kamikaze drone. This is a very famous drone used by Russia nowadays. Hit Kiev as President Putin arrives in Belarus. So here is Russia, and I hope you are aware Russia is attacking Ukraine and all since February and all. And Russia is having a good friendship with Belarus. So Russian President here is Moscow, the capital of Russia. From here he recently visited Belarus, and during this actually time, uh, Kiev is the capital of Ukraine here. Where actually the Russia attacked Ukraine uh, on this capital of Ukraine when Russian president was in Belarus. जब रशिया के प्रेसिडेंट बेलारूस में थे, तब कहा जा रहा है कि कामिकाज़े ड्रोन से की यानी यूक्रेन के कैपिटल में हमला किया गया. That was the news. So just have an idea about it. Okay. Now this is also a very uh, interesting uh, news. Two fifty years of slavery calls it a crime against humanity. Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte. On Monday, officially apologized for 250 years of Netherlands involved in slavery, calling it a crime against humanity. Okay, देखो पहले मैं बता देता हूँ. So this is India, this is Europe, है ना? And in Europe, you will find a country called as Netherlands, and the people of Netherlands are called as Dutch. ठीक है? अब देखो हुआ ये कि the Dutch people actually, if you talk about 1920th century, they had captured a lot of region. In fact, they tried to come and in, in, in India also. So they were actually holding a lot, a large portion in Indonesia. Okay. And in uh, this is here somewhere you will find Caribbean island, Caribbean or West Indies island. So West Indies island we call it. In cricket we call it as West Indies. So Dutch actually were controlling this some portion in Africa also in Indonesia. So Dutch logo ne hukumat ki. Now they actually were involved in slavery also, indulging in uh, practicing slavery. So जब अभी के डच के प्राइम मिनिस्टर उन्होंने माफी मांगी है उस चीज के लिए. First thing is we believe there is a concept called as individual liability. So you are not responsible for what your father or forefather or your four 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 father has done. आप उसके लिए नहीं responsible. अगर इनके कोई पर दादा ने कुछ गुनाह किया होगा उसके लिए ये responsible नहीं है. But still he is asking for forgiveness. तो वो भी ये माफी मांग रहे हैं कि जो हमारे पूर्वज ने किया मेरे कंट्री के डच के लोगों ने सिलेवरी किया वो गलत था और हम उसके लिए माफी मांगते हैं ठीक है बट स्टिल आई अपोलोजाइज फॉर द पास्ट एक्शन ऑफ द डच स्टेट सो एज अड ऑफ द स्टेट ही सेट बट इंडिविजुअली पर्सन इज नॉट लाइबल फॉर द रॉन्ग डन बाई हिस्स फोर फादर अगर आपके बाप दादा पर दादा ने कुछ गुना किया होगा तो उसके लिए आप नहीं रिस्पॉन्सिबल होते हो ठीक है आप अपने एक्शन के लिए होते हो बट स्टिल एज अ प्राइम मिनिस्टर ही इज एक्चुअली Officially apologizing and asking for apology is a very uh, great thing, है ना? अगर कोई इंसान माफी मांग रहा है तो वो बहुत बड़ी चीज होती है खास के वो जो उसने नहीं किया उसके बरदादा ने उनके खानदान के ऊपर के लोगों ने किया हो डच रेस के दो तीन जनरेशन पहले यस सो दैट इज वाई इट इज अ वेरी ग्रेट थिंग है ना सो यू शो शुड बी अवेयर ऑफ इट मार्क रुटे इज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ नेदरलैंड एंड डच भी कह सकते हो और नेदरलैंड पीपल ऑफ नेदरलैंड आर कॉल्ड एस डच हॉलैंड उसी को कहते थे ठीक है हॉलैंड वॉज अर्लियर नेम नेदरलैंड 
ओके गो इन फाइंड आउट होमवर्क यह है कि नेदरलैंड की जो कैपिटल है तो पीपल ऑफ डच नेदरलैंड आर कॉल्ड एज डच सो वट इज द कैपिटल ऑफ नेदरलैंड ठीक है एंड इन नेदरलैंड देर इज अ सिटी इन विच यू विल फाइंड द हेडक्वार्टर ऑफ आई सी जे इंटरनेशनल कोर्ट ऑफ जस्टिस सो वट इज द नेम ऑफ दैट सिटी उस शहर का नाम बताओ नेदरलैंड में जहां आपको इंटरनेशनल कोर्ट ऑफ जस्टिस मिलेगा दूसरा बताना है आपको कि नेदरलैंड की राजधानी क्या है कैपिटल क्या है दैट यू आर सपोज टू एक्सप्लेन ठीक है बताओ इन द लाइफ चैट इफ यू नो इट ओके यस मैसी सेट्स हिज टाइम टू इमोर्टेलिटी इन द सेंस ऑफ अरबियन डेजर्ट आई होप यू आर अवेयर तो मैसी वाज वेरी हैप्पी विनिंग द मैचेस एंड ऑल ठीक है सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट टुडेस क्लास आई एम वेटिंग फॉर द आंसर्स कोई बता दो सो द कैपिटल ऑफ नेदरलैंड एक्चुअली इज एम्स्टरडैम एम्स्टरडैम एंड देयर इज अ सिटी कॉल्ड एज द हेग इन नेदरलैंड वेयर यू विल फाइंड द हेड क्वार्टर ऑफ आईसीजे दैट इज इंटरनेशनल कोर्ट ऑफ जस्टिस ठीक है सो नेदरलैंड की राजधानी एम्स्टरडैम है और सिटी uh, जो है नेदरलैंड में एक शहर है दहेग जिसका uh, जिसमें आईसीजे का हेडक्वार्टर है यस सर आई गॉट ए लेट ऑल इंडिया रैंक हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व थैंक्स टू योर वीडियोस ओके वेलकम आंश अरोरा आई एम वेरी हैप्पी टू सी दैट यू हैव गॉट अ गुड चांस है ना यू हैव गॉट हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व रैंक यस सो डू आई हैव अ चांस फॉर सिलेक्शन ओके आई विल बी टेलिंग एक्चुअली आई विल टेल माई टीम्स टू मेक अ वीडियो फॉर दैट कि अंडर विच रैंक यू विल बी गेटिंग हाउ मच कॉलेज एंड ऑल ठीक है उसके लिए एक स्पेशल वीडियो देल बी सेशन सो वी विल रिक्वेस्ट अभी मान्यू सर और एनी अदर फैकल्टी फॉर दैट सो देल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग इन डिटेल कि कितना रैंक में आपको क्या क्या मिल जाएगा क्या क्या उम्मीद है ठीक है इन विच कैटेगरी एंड ऑल ठीक है सो विल बी इनफॉर्मिंग आवर एक्चुअली कलीग्स एंड ऑल ठीक है सो थैंक यू एवरी वन थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू अर चैनल फॉलो ऑस ऑन इंस्टाग्राम फेसबुक ज्वाइन द टेलीग्राम एंड फॉलो ऑस ऑन बाई जूज एग्जाम प्रेप सो थैंक यू एवरी वन थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग है नाइस डे